And I got my big block here. Hmm. Was I supposed to be able to find a way to like ride it? Like this might catch. But I can't like, I can't get on it. You're not allowed to move until something... You're not allowed to move yourself until anything, everything else is done moving as well. Hmm. Well, this didn't work. That's back in the loaded thing. Can I make anything about this make sense? I'm not going to be able to make, like, a bridge. It'll just stop it dead. Nope. It goes. Hmm. Hmm. I could use user use blah, 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 use you to press the button and ride it. Would this stop it? I mean, it has doesn't really matter if it stops or not. I guess. It, hmm. Yeah, even if it goes all the way to the back wall, it'll get pushed forward by the river, so it should just kind of take care of itself. Yeah. Oh. I needed the block to see this view. Hey! There it is. Yeah, these are always shockingly short credits, given the context. Gay plant person. Test good testing. <laughs> it's always a funny mix mix of uh of usernames and, and actual names. That's always just really funny. Well, Alright, we made it. That was Bonfire Peaks. I got there in the end. I don't want to sound too negative on the game or anything. It's not that the, uh... It's not that the game is bad in any particular way. It's just that it's exhausting to Let's Play. Like, really specifically. Uh... It's hard to explain that, but like... I don't know. There's like a... Certain kinds of difficult puzzle games you kind of just kind of fiddle with for hours in silence on your own. Maybe multitasking a bit. Just kind of hang out. Uh, doing a show is a bit rougher, where you're like, uh, Come on, please. <laughs> and you're like trying to solve the stuff, and you're trying to commentate over it, you're trying to think, and so on. Am I trapped here forever now? Uh. No, there's a little exit here. That's what that gap was for. <clears throat> But yeah, the, uh, the Pipe Push Paradise, the previous game by this developer, was the game that I had to uh, take a break from. And I, 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 I put that game on hiatus also, so I think there might be something about Corey Martin's games where I'm like, I need, I need to come back later. These are a lot. Is me running backwards doing like the opposite of the letting go? When I, when I finished that last puzzle, the achievement was let go.
No, I'm gonna run all the way back and revisit everything again. You can't stop me. No, I was joking. I was joking, but I actually found more. I actually found more. We're not done yet. We're still going. We're still going. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, go. That explains this weird large tower of, of boxes I had hanging out here. Um, okay, there's enough of an overhang to knock them off. You know, I might need a lot of boxes. Mm, one, two, three, f at least four more, I think. I guess I can take these. I don't need that many more there. It doesn't seem like enough, does it? Hello? Oh yeah, this one stabbed onto the spikes. The saxophone does not appear to be a block. Um, I'm missing one more block. Right? That's a dead end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? There's only nine puzzles here. I think that means we have to get get up to some nonsense. There we go. Coals. Life coals. <laughs> um. So I get up there somehow. I would figure some version of... of like staircasing. But like that's how... F that's how you get it far enough to go over there. But I can't climb on it because it's on top of a step. Oh! No, it reaches. And then it kills me. Uh. <coughs> uh. Why does it just hit me at random like that? <clears throat> like nothing's happening. Yep, it's not going to be like that. 
not gonna be like that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I think I can envision how the next step might work. Ta-da! Getting to the fire doesn't seem hard. I just need to figure out how to get this block off of this pedestal without dying or so on. And because of how the staircase works, I don't think I can use any of those blocks in the process. I'm looking at the f presence of the fire, but I don't see how that would help. I don't think this is a burning block one. There's nothing. At, there's no. There's no obstacle that's based on a block right now. It's just the simple fact that when I do this, it's very hard to get both me and the uh, block past my goal. The spike pretty much makes it impossible for at least one of us to get past there. But I don't think I can finagle a way to knock it into the fire from up here, either. I think that's it. Hmm. Like, I've exhausted all my options. There's not really a lot I can do there. So was this like a trap solution? I think that was a trap. Feels like they set it up just right so that you would fall right into that tr that uh yeah basically the trap of trying to do that solution and then it just like obviously doesn't work. Hmm. The height you get to is perfect to so step from the step onto these. And then you can get across. Hmm. It's exactly three across, too. That's my limit, because I... The first one I dropped into position, but the second one I had to slide into position, because the first one was still in the way. But there's nothing to slide this one. So I'd have to hold this lengthwise... ...to bridge the rest of it. Is that why it's called coals? Eh? Eh? Once I came up with the change, 
and approach. The rest of it kind of just fell into place at that point, I guess. Buried. Hmm. That's what I figured. So there are spikes under it. So in order to get my belongings, I need to trigger the spikes. So my first obstacle is to find a way to survive triggering the spikes. Right now I run out of floor. Oh shit. Okay, so now I'm not out of floor at least, so I didn't get spiked. Climbing up here probably isn't that hard. The goal right now is just to find a way to even get to it. Hmm. Because now I'm capped out in both directions as far as movement goes. I can't go forward or backwards and I can't turn. change about my layout. It certainly helps to have access to the edges of this place, but from here I can't grab it. And from here I'll be walking off into spikes. Yeah, and I can't walk forward, which is my go-to way to try to deal with the fact that I can't control where it's going to go at the end. Ideally, if I could walk forward, then I could just turn back around with it and then plop it down in whatever orientation I need. But no, it seems pretty inherently stuck. So I can't... I can't turn it. Can't go forward, can't go backwards, can't turn. That's a list. <laughs> I think I found the only configuration that allows me to walk backwards without dying, and it traps me. Like, I need an exit. Hmm. Eh? Eh? All right, that does it. All right, that gives me the block at least. I still need to figure out how to get past the rest of it. Um, I can pick you up. Hmm. on that. That was an idea, but I can't climb it again. So it's flush with the cliff, so I can't grab it from the side. some things, don't it? It's kind of in the way right now. Okay. 
guess that's all it takes. There we go. Oh, it's really weird whenever I reflexively press A for some reason, and then it like skips the entire outro. It almost looks like a glitch, but it's me pressing A right when it starts the uh, the fade out. Checkerboard. I think I see why. Alright, so there's a grid of spikes basically everywhere. That may not be great. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But if I grab it, spikes. not great news so the takeaway here is that the tower is tall enough that you need at least two blocks to stand on you need, you need the long piece on the bottom and the short and one of the short pieces on top which is two out of three pieces that are even available not counting the belongings so I can't just use this to get forward I need to take it with me How would you cross that many gaps? Spikes are still up right now. I guess they always are at that point. I think I can imagine an outcome where you have the double one. The double one is on the pedestal sticking out over the belongings which are, which are in the pit. And if the, pe if the pedestal's still being held, spikes won't be out yet. No, not even that idea works. Hmm? No? Yeah, no, the, because the, the long piece would be sticking out to the right, so if you're standing in the one open space there, you could grab them and turn them around. No? The problem there is that I would have the double piece in hand, and then, uh... <laughs> The release of the spikes would have released the belongings and put them up to my height so I could grab them too without them being in the pit anymore. But then I'd just be surrounded by spikes and I can't put anything down in a way that lets me climb on anything. They'd just be on top of spikes. You can't do anything when they're on top of spikes. Mm. Maybe I'm failing to imagine it. I don't know. This seems right. Like if I could climb over this. Is it the first? Oh, okay, no. This might be the mistake. If I don't put this in the pit, I can actually walk over it. Hmm.
How's that? Now I can at least do stuff? No. Yeah, that's what my fear was. Being trapped here. I stood on top of my belongings, so they're uh, they're trapped forever now. That kills. This kills the player. <sighs> Definitely seems like you need this square to have. You like to be able to put up a block on the square so you can continue, but. Mm. Can't sacrifice any blocks. The spikes really ruin everything the moment they start. I'm trying to find any way to. I don't know, prepare before they go up? What can I do? Everything's so immediately trapped, isn't it? If I drop you here... Because eh, you can step on it before it actually goes. There's like an order of operations here. Hmm. Mess up by putting it in that direction? Maybe. Grab it. And put it here. Yeah, because now there's a step I can actually get on. We got there eventually. Minimalist. Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. <laughs> or is there? Hmm. That's like the only interaction I can think of with it at the beginning. It's like I knock it to the back, but then it's stuck. And then what? But I can't knock it left or right because it'll fall. Which raises the idea, like, do I just grab it? <clears throat> Maybe it is as, sim as simple as just figuring out where to put these things. And then grabbing it. Why so tall? Hmm. 
Because because the piece is taller. Hmm. What do they want from me here? So the piece is taller, so you can't step from the small piece to the large piece, because it looks like a staircase now, but the, the small piece falls down. So you can't continue. But, like, I don't really want a tall piece to begin with. I'm try I need a, a long piece, if anything. I don't have a height problem here. If I can stand on- if, I, if I'm already dealing with spikes, then... Like, I need to be able to walk across them? And if I can walk across them, then I don't I don't need help with height because I'm I'm already at that spot with the fire. Hmm. What advantages does a tall one give you? Sliding? I guess. Why would I want to? Like this. It's like one of the primary things a tall one helps you with besides height, which I don't need, which is why I'm confused. What do you want from me? So, like, the math's not working out, right? Ugh. I got two boxes, but three spikes! What am I gonna do? <sighs> Can I not push the button? Like that, and then rotating knocks it off. Those seem rather unhelpful. Those are not boating well. The small one has to be here, right? If I put the big one here, it's not gonna help me walk over. I'm trying to figure out how to like, do something like that. definitely have to be like the step but then things get difficult hmm can I do shenanigans here because now the steps out of the way this mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. The weird nuance of how you can pick up the same box over and over again in different grips that change the whole thing. That's always a little goofy. Mind your head. We're gonna have... We're not, are we? I was gonna say, we're gonna have a nice even number of 200, which is kind of why I was searching, but 
We're not, are we? Is it gonna be like a like 202? <laughs> like the least round number I've ended on? Mind your head. I feel like they're basically just telling me up front that I need to do a thing where I balance it on my head. Those are always really weird dicey levels. It definitely feels like the trick here is to just not trigger the spikes. I think they put a trap here. Yeah, like that keeps the spikes from triggering, but now I can't get it. If I could slide it in directly or something, that would help. But I don't think that's going to work either. And that's bad. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to work with, so I definitely need to not trigger the spikes. Hmm. Mind your head. I'm not good at these head mechanics. Don't I essentially need to be like walking up into it or something? Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe this would catch it. Can I just attack it from the other side? Not like that. Come here. Come here. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's always in the way. You can't get up the stairs. How about this side? Eh? Eh? There's the idea. And now I'm here and you can't stop me. Uh. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Just, just, just better. Okay, um. Well, that's not a problem I anticipated. Um. Unexpected problem. So I set it down here originally. I can't reach it from there. I can't go backwards. But if I go forward, I can't continue. How am I 
stuck again. Man. I need to be able to reach it. Can I drop you here? Yeah. Ah, there it was. That was a thing. There's always a thing. The audacity to have a thing. Do you know who I am? Okay, um... Um? Okay, I think I get this one already. You gotta catch it. And then it doesn't trigger. And then you do stuff. Um... Kinda need the long piece in there now, don't I? What happens if I do this? Uh, <laughs> stuff. I'm here. Wow, look at me go. Okay. Um, That made it fall that way. That's interesting. So I did it on this side, it would land on the ledge. Ah. That's the trick. That's like a really, really specific physics interaction. You know what? I'll take a I'll take a one minute level. Maximalist. So it's chaos mode compared to before, huh? <sighs> two talls, two shorts. Staircase. Doubt that I want these spikes to trigger. Get that high up. I'm trying to incorporate unsuccessfully the tall piece. Almost never totally sure what to do with those. It is like I need one more block, doesn't it? <sighs> wouldn't the tall piece wouldn't even help. I don't know, yeah, what do I do with the tall pieces? Right now the one I'm using doesn't even do anything, because I could just have the stairs be one tile closer. But not even helpful in that context.
Do I need to trigger the spikes then? Probably want this in a better spot. It is I, Doctor No Plan. I don't have a plan. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's going to get tough, because the moment I reactivate the spikes, I can no longer pick up the bottom piece anymore. Let's see if I can try a different configuration. Because that one didn't seem like it was going to go anywhere. I always want a staircase with the long ones, but let's see what we can do with these guys. Logically, they'd end up with the closest, right? Because they're the big, tall dudes. Hmm. That's all it takes to get on top, and yeah, the two long ones can bridge most of the gap. Then you... Could fill in the end point. Hmm. But I can't reach it at first. Is that it, actually? Was that the whole thing? Oh, wow. That one came together fast. Sweet spot. You might be the last thing in the game. I did it! Um... I don't think I can... I don't think I can... Uh, avoid the spikes in this one. They put- they stacked them all on top of each other, all rude-like. So I can't- I can't separate the stack. I need the other block to do that. Which means activating the spikes. Hmm. Well now we have quite the ask. So close. Uh, unspike, please. Just do the unspike button. And, um. Hmm. From the pedestal, it's one, two, three, four. I think that's in hooking range. Can I hook that? Am I gonna be able to hook? Hey! Oh, 100% achievement. That makes it pretty clear. I guess that's it. That's the final level. Now I'm actually, actually, actually done. I was lying last time, just to fool you.